Wallahi, there are so many people whose lives have been changed because of only one verse of the Qur'an or only one hadith. There were thieves, robbers, tyrants, bullies, evil people. And only one verse of the Qur'an made them change their life. And some went on to become Imams such as Imam Malik ibn Dinar rahimahullah. There were evildoers, alcoholics, and only one hadith made them change their life and some even went on to become Imams. An incident comes to mind which Imam Ibn Qudama al-Maqdisi rahimahullah mentions in his Kitab al-Tawabin. There was an alcoholic who was addicted to alcohol and he used to remain excessively drunk. This young person's name was Abdullah ibn Maslama al kanabi Now upon occasion, Abdullah ibn Maslama al kanabi was with his friends drinking alcohol. And in front of him he saw a rush. He saw a large number of people gathering around someone. And this someone was seated on his donkey. So Abdullah was curious and wanted to know who this someone was. Why is everyone crowding around this individual? So he went, bottle of alcohol in his hand and asked the people that were surrounding this someone that who is this? So the people replied, this is a very famous Imam. So Abdullah asked, what's the Imam's name? So the people replied, Imam Shu'bat ibn al-Hajjaj. Abdullah said, okay, what does he do? So the people said, he is a muhaddith. So Abdullah asked, what's a muhaddith? So the people, so they replied, that a muhaddith is a person that narrates, memorizes, teaches, and acts upon the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Thereafter, Imam Shu'bah was sitting on his donkey and Abdullah goes up to Imam Shu'bah and tells him, if you are muhaddith, tell me, narrate to me one hadith. So Imam Shu'bah, being an Imam, read the situation and saw that Abdullah has a bottle of alcohol in his hand. So Imam Shu'bah narrated a hadith to him according to the situation. He said, An Abi Mas'ud Uqbat ibn Amr al-Ansari al-Badri قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم إن مما أدرك الناس من كلام النبوة الأولى إذا لم تستحي فصنع ما شئت The translation of the hadith is The Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم said If a person is shameless he will do whatever he wants if a person is shameless, he will do whatever he wants. Subhanallah, we hear this hadith many times. Has it ever had an effect on our lives? When Abdullah ibn Maslam al kanabi heard this hadith, the bottle of alcohol fell from his hand. And he said, did the Prophet Muhammad wasallam say this? That if you have no shame, then do whatever you want? He started asking himself, am I a shameless person? This hadith penetrated Abdullah's heart. He went home and he stayed some days in his room crying, thinking, what have I done with my life until now? I kept on drinking alcohol, disobeying Allah. So he repented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he came out of his room and told his mother, I'm leaving this country. I asked the scholars, the ulama, that I want to acquire the knowledge of Islam. I want to be like Imam Shu'ba. He is a muhaddith. Why am I not a muhaddith? If Imam Shu'ba can be a muhaddith, so can I. Look at him, my brothers and sisters. Just a moment ago, he was a drunkard. And now he wants to be a muhaddith. He doesn't just want to repent and live with his repentance. No. He also wants to do amal. He also wants to do action and also become a muhaddith. So he asked the scholars, they said go to Medina. Imam Malik is one of the greatest Imams of this time. If you become his student, then you can become a Muhaddith. So Abdullah traveled, he was from Basra, Abdullah traveled from Basra 
to Medina and he goes towards Imam Malik and he becomes one of the greatest students of Imam Malik. Not only that my brothers and sisters, we know that the most authentic book after the Quran is Bukhari and Muslim. He is also one of the teachers of Imam Bukhari and Imam Muslim. Subhanallah. Such a great Imam he became. The life of a drunkard changed because of one hadith. And we, my brothers and sisters, including myself, we read the Quran, we read the ahadith, we read inspirational messages of Islam on Twitter, Facebook, WhatsApp, etc. And it doesn't make a difference in our lives.